Hey guys, Luke here, and we're back. This is another episode of the Dream Team Tour. Let's get straight into the match. And uh, while sliding, as I've been doing lately, I'd like to say, uh, take the chance to say thanks for watching. And um, it'd be awesome if you could hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll try and hit 500 subscribers. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. It's my next goal. So as you can tell by the title, you can see who we're taking on. As I just load up my little Word document uh, that has the full team. Because um, if you haven't realised, but yeah, I mean, probably haven't, because why would you? But um, so I can remember who I've got exactly in the side and like the one to seventeen and stuff. I uh, write down the proper team that you see in the description, so I can talk about it in game. Because I don't have to keep pausing it, being like, oh, who, geez, who's the second row? Oh, who's who's the lock? Because I've tried that before and it's not very successful and uh, it doesn't work out very well. And I just repeated myself like three times there in different ways. So yeah, as you can tell, this is the faster side. Some of them obviously we're going to disagreements with, like how particularly the forwards. Like how often do you see forwards in space? Like for backs, you can you can find whole highlights of them, like three minutes highlights of them just running in open space. Where like a forward, apart from maybe for feeder, Jackson, really, you haven't really got much to work with. So let's get into it. We'll go with the whole the whole lineup is uh Hayne, Brett Morris, James Roberts, Glenn Fisiahi, you got Marika Karabidi. Um we have Michael Morgan, he's playing fullback but he's he's five eight here. Then we got um Sean Johnson. Uh we got Brenton Lawrence, James Aguiaro, Andrew Fafita, Josh Jackson, um Matt Gillett and if you want to know. Uh Gillett we'll, we'll talk about him in a sec, but um, the bench is uh, Josh Morris, Santacatizzi, Joel Thompson, and Martin Tabau. And I'll explain my reasonings for some of these people. So we'll start off with Hayne. Obviously, he's a pretty obvious one. Now, thinking, obviously, he looks really fast. He used to be a sprinter. Go back to him. Um, there was like a sprint testing, um, a sprint between all the footy stars. And he beat Josh Morris. He beat um, Greg Inglis. He beat. James O'Connor or someone like some some of the other sports. I think that I think um a dude he wasn't even in the NRL or AFL or he wasn't a high profile dude. He won the fastest. Inglis came last I think by heaps. But at the time I think he looked fat there. The smashed Barber. I think Josh Morris might have just beat Barber or maybe Barber just beat Morris. It was pretty close between them two. One get in. There we go. 4-0. Um, and yeah, so we talk about them too. So Hain. Oh, sorry, just Hain. I was talking about Hain. Yeah, so he's like a full sprinter. He does the full sprint style. Does lots of sprint work. So obviously, he's a pretty obvious choice for fullback. I mean, who would be faster than him apart from Fisiahi? I don't know. Kevin Locke, maybe? I don't know. He's not Barber anymore. Oh, he wouldn't have even been in contention, really. But it's worth mentioning just there. So move on to the wing spot. The first one is Brett Morris. The others, Marika Karabidi. So I think, in timing wise, I'm not sure of the exact times of all these people, or even if these are true. But I'm pretty sure Karabidi's one of the fastest in the NRL. Uh, I think he might be the fastest. Sorry. Um, obviously, he's got a racehorse named after him, who like Robbie Farrow and all that. Like the dude is very quick, like very, very, very fast. Um, so yeah, that's probably his biggest asset. I don't think he really doesn't have too many other assets um, in footy. But yeah, speed. It's a really big asset to have, and he's definitely probably. Well, I'd say he's probably the best out of them. We moved on to Brett Morris. So I think he's really fast, but overall he's like a good player. Um, you see it all the time. I, I don't know if that mask actually how fast he is or what, but in open space he's he's like untouchable. Just about um, between his actual pace, his agility, everything. Just a great player, Brett Morris. Move on to the centers. We have James Roberts and Glenn Fisiahi. They might be thinking. But Glenn Fisher, he doesn't play center. Well, we need him in the side, and we needed to just work around some of these plays. Corbett, not a center. Fisher, he's closest we'll get um, because he plays fullback usually. Even though, even though, he, like when he plays Warriors, he plays wing. That's just because they got they had Kevin Locke. Now they got Tompkins. He just doesn't get a go. But he definitely is super fast. If if you're doubting that, check out his try against the Roosters. The length of the field, it was oh, it was so good, so quick. He was gone in a flash. And yes, uh, Fisiahi is the dude who um, was the one who started celebrating and got tackled by Starling as he was putting the ball in the under-20s. 
So yeah, that's him if you're if you're wondering. Uh, and then we'll move on to James Roberts, who I'm not sure his times, but he'd he'd be up there with Corey Beatty, to be honest. I I don't know who's exactly fastest, but yeah, if if uh, he's not fastest, Corey Beatty is. And there's a try to Jared Hayne, ten nil, perfect little play there. So then we come to the five eight spot, and I wasn't sure about five eight. I, I knew the halfback was going to be Sean Johnson. That was pretty, you know, that was an obvious choice. Five eight. That's where a little bit stumped. I was trying to think of like Carney maybe, but uh, Widdop, Benji. I don't know if Benji's fast anymore, or as fast. And I, I can't really remember Widdop been up in space. I mean, I figure he's quick, but is he that quick? Then I remember Michael Morgan. He's played f um, fullback this year, but he's he was five eight before that, and he is incredibly fast. Like he's so fast. I can't remember who he chased down. He didn't quite get there, but he looks so quick. Maybe it just looks be, can be deceiving sometimes. Maybe he wasn't that quick, but that's what it seemed like. So we put him in at 5'8". And then, like I said before, Sean Johnson was the obvious one for um, the halfback spot. He, you can find whole montages of him just ripping it up, sprinting past people. He's crazy good, crazy talented, and he has one thing that you can't really teach, and that's speed. So it's a huge asset to him. Quick Tompkins. Oh, but Roger, what's you doing? Um, that moves us on to the props. Well, we'll start off with the first one. And get a kick away. Charge down. Um, yeah, so the first one is Brenton Lawrence. Now, I think this one was one of the more obvious choices. I mean, there's not too many fast forwards, but Brent Lawrence is definitely one of them. I mean, like, how fast is he? Like, is he? he's not a sprinter or nothing, but he's a fast forward, if that makes sense. Because um, obviously none of these guys are going to outpace, you know, Brett Morris or someone. Thurston gets us the ball. They should be able to catch us, but they won't, because the game's kind of weird in that sense. Come on, under the post. And there you have it, JT gets the intercept. We're taking on the faster side and they couldn't catch first. And wow, this shows this game. Um, yeah, so Lawrence, very quick for a forward. There's not too much I can say. I mean, overall, he's a pretty good player. But yeah, it definitely helps that he's pretty quick. He's pretty fit too. So he can play decent minutes. So um, yeah. Then we move on to Fafita, which is the other one. We've seen him in Omi's face. You got a. I uh, can't remember who he I think it was against Tigers. He just. Run straight through the middle around the fullback. It was so easy. It was ridiculous. And then he did the lawn mile celebration. Um, he's got crazy good speed for a for a forward. I think he used to be a winger. Also, like his stamina is crazy good too. So it's, it wasn't just like a random thing. Like he just became fast. Like I think he used to play wing when he was younger. It's just he got he was too big to play wing. So threw him in the forwards. And uh, here he is now, being a, one of the fastest forwards in the game. So that's the two props out of the way. Then we have James Seguiara at hooker. Now there's a few options. I've never really seen them in full flight. Close, you kind of see little glimpses of it. And to me, Seguiara looks the quickest out of him. Uh, the other one looking at was um, Isaac Luke. But uh, I don't really know. Is he fast or is he just got good acceleration? Like, go for both of them. Jaden Hodges is pretty quick. Uh, I, I stumped. Who, who would you pick? Who would you pick? Leave in the comments. Actually, leave in your comments who would be in your side. Because um, obviously I'm going to have people missing out and some obvious missions probably. Because that's just how it is. Um, yeah, so we got Chegu Chegu at Hooker. Uh, then we got Josh Jackson, second row. Now, he's been put into so many gaps. And as a Bulldog supporter, I've been able to see it. Him and Lafayette and stuff. And he looks just as quick as the outside backs. Um, it's kind of strange. I never really thought of him as being that quick before. But... He definitely is very quick for a second rower. I mean, does he deserve being this side? I don't know, but I couldn't think of any other um, quick um, second rowers. Then we move on to Matt Gillett. Now, I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly how fast he is, but I remember him getting lots of intercepts and running length of the field, so that's the reason he's in the side. Um, and purely just because of that, I, there's probably other suitable people, but I couldn't think of any. Then we move on to Locke. I mean, probably could have done Gillett at Locke and what were it? Um, second row but we didn't keep offloading damn Corabitti got him that would have been a cool try so uh, yeah Locke was Watmo um, I think Watmo is suitable seeing him get a few breaks and stuff and I think gee he's very quick I mean I'm not sure what he is now he's getting a little bit older but maybe like a few years ago 
uh, making breaks. He looks so fast, and I was questioning whether people were going to be able to catch him. Um, but yeah, I think he's very fast. He's a bit average now in terms of like actual ability, but you know he, he's definitely fast. Can't take that away from him. Move on to the bench. We have Josh Morris, who, uh, well, you might be thinking his knee injury is not that quick anymore, but trust me, without the knee injury, next year he'll come around and he'll he'll be just as fast. We you see Brett, Josh is just as fast, so that's why he's in the side. That might be some other people who are faster, but I picked them. Also, I like the Morris dude, so the Morris twins. So that's why they're there. We have Sam Takatisi, who I believe when he was at Melbourne, was on record as being the fastest over 40. So, you know, he's, um, Inglis was there at the time, Billy Slater. Um, they had some speeches there, so, um, you know, that's nothing to um, just look over. So, take it teases in the side. And, like, he has, he there has been a few tries where he comes up to the fullback and just steps in. Uh, so, you know, it's worth noting. There's another try, it's 28 nil. I suppose with all these um, speeches, they can't defend. So, yeah. So I suppose defense is not usually their strongest point. It's just their their speed gets them through it. So then we move on to Joel Thompson. Now, I'm not sure about Joel Thompson. I've never really seen him in space. Um, I know he used to play center, so that was kind of my logic in, in picking him. Um, yeah, I just... I, I, don't, I don't know. Is he quick? Leave in the comments, is he quick? Because, like I said, like the only reason I picked him is because he used to be a center, so I figured he must have some sort of speed. I looked in the game, and he has 80, 80 pace, but that could be just because he was set as a center. Um, I mean, the game's not very good to judge by. Uh, wow, that would have been a cool try, that one. Sorry about the silence. If we get a nice kick away, you got b chasing. Hayne catches it. And uh, the last interchange spot was Martin Tapao. Now, you might be thinking, uh, why Martin Tapao? Well, I'm sure you are thinking that. Uh, the reason is, I know he's pretty quick for a forward. He's had some knee surgeries and stuff since it happened, but I'm assuming he's still got similar pace, if not more. Um, you go search up Junior Kiwis. I think it's Dale Copley. It makes a break, and he has a start on him, and Martin Tapao chases him down by about in about 40, 50 meters or so. It was it was like ridiculous, he was so good. And it was times like that when you see like him and you think, why the hell the Bulldogs let go of him? But then you see him drop the ball and you go, oh, that's why. But Marty Tapao, uh, a lot of Bulldogs fans like him. Sad to see him go, but he makes it into this side um, for being one of the fastest um, in the NRL. And I had wanted to pick forwards because you don't carry backs on the bench, so we just picked one back. Um, honorable mentions to like people like Iwate, um, who were really fast. Uh, a lot of the Fijian lads are pretty quick. I'm not sure about how fast at, like Semi Red Roger is. I know he's quick, but like I don't know how I compare it against the others. Um, yeah, because you, you watch his, the one where they tapped it back, and I think he I think it was against Manly, he ran length of the field, but... I don't know, Manly don't have that many spaces, let's be honest. Like, they have Jamie Lyon and Matt Eye. Matt Eye's probably the quicker out of the two, but still not that quick. And their wingers, Defua and Hiku, who aren't that quick either. Brett Stewart's the fastest. And Brett Stewart probably should have been on the inside now, I think about it. Um, I think he's on record at running, running like, ridiculous speeds. That, that was before the injuries, but, but you know what? It's worth putting in. So sorry about that, but yeah, Brett Stewart, I think he, I think he might have had like Olympic speeds. There's a few of these guys are fast enough to actually like make Olympic sides, but obviously they don't do it full time to uh, be able to go in. So it's coming to end of the episodes. I'll wrap it up. Hang on one sec. Oh, here we go. Oh, that would have meant some try. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so, uh, like I said, I'm going to wrap it up here. Let's say, uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, I wouldn't mind you hitting the like button. That would be pretty cool. And uh, also, I would like you to hit the subscribe button. Because, like I said earlier, I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers. And, uh, yeah, it help us get well on our way there. So, um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you for the next episode, guys.
Bye.